Hi, everyone. Welcome to Flock Talk. I'm Erin Morgan. And I'm Jordan Sloggett. And we work for the farmer members of the Ontario Sheep Farmers Organization. This week, we're talking finance programs with Jay Atkins. Jay is CEO of Agricultural Credit Corporation. Welcome, Jay. Thank you for joining Flock Talk. Thank you for having us, uh, uh, Jordan and Erin. We appreciate the opportunity. Jay, could you provide us with uh, an overview of some of the financing programs that uh, Agricultural Credit Canada offers specifically for sheep farmers in Ontario? Yes, Jordan, thanks. Um, The two programs that we offer right now, one is federal and one is provincial. The federal program is called the Advanced Payments Program, where a producer can obtain up to $250,000 interest-free and an additional up to $750,000 at prime in order to uh, in order to purchase, grow, raise, feed, and market their livestock, um, this program is is widely used in the livestock industry, not only with sheep but with with uh, cattle, hogs. Um, that program came out, uh, and sheep were added to it approximately seven years ago, and we have a number of growers today that are using it. We have another program called the Commodity Loan Program, which is a provincial program where a producer can get up to $750,000 in order to uh, provide an operating line of credit for them to grow crops in order to to feed livestock. And uh, uh, that program, as I said, is is at prime. And both of these programs are available in April of each year and run for an 18-month period. So what are the terms and conditions of each option? The terms and conditions of each option, I'll start with the Commodity Loan Program, which is a provincial program. Under that program, if you're growing crops for feed, you have to be enrolled in agriculture uh, uh, production insurance, or you have to be enrolled in agri-stability, one or the other. And then the Advanced Payments Program, you do have to be enrolled in agri-stability for that. And uh, again, under that program, you can get up to $250,000 interest free and you have up to an 18 month period to pay it back. We have two options under the advanced payments program for producers. Uh, One provides a full 18 months in order to pay us back and that's called a standard loan. And then we have a program called a continuous flow program uh, under the advanced payments program where a producer has 12 months to uh, um, uh, to pay us back uh, based on the number of, of sheep they have coming and going on their farm operation. So for those operations where the, uh, the production is continuously changing, um, where they're bringing them in, shipping them out uh, at different stages, uh, the continuous flow works really well for that because we don't expect you to have the livestock on the farm at all times knowing that you know, you're shipping some, you're bringing some in. And uh, so for that program, it works extremely well. Thanks, Jay. Um, are there any other key eligibility criteria that our sheep farmers should be aware of that they would need well, to meet to qualify for this financing programs? Our, our standards are this, is that number one, you must be 18 years old. You must be a primary producer. Uh, interesting enough, it used to be you had to be only a producer, you couldn't work off farms and all the other stuff. That's all changed now where, where there's so many people, particularly in livestock who are, you know, have other full-time jobs. So they, they certainly qualify now as primary producers. And uh, uh, again, you have to be enrolled in Niagara Stability. Uh, this program is a government program and they do want the assurance of, of Niagara Stability backdropping their security. So, uh, and and again, agri-stability is relatively low cost to enroll in if you're not enrolled in it and relatively easy to enroll in. We find the majority of producers are already enrolled in agri-stability. So um, what we require when you apply is uh, basically some kind of proof of age or or proof of who you are and your address. So so any kind of government ID, like a driver's license or a passport or something along that line, will require a to know uh, a bank account number so that everything we do is is electronic so both from a payment standpoint and from a funding standpoint so we we require to know where the where the money is going to be sent to and deposited into and uh, other than that there are occasions when we will ask for a financial statement 
although those are relatively rare. I would say probably on 10 to 15 percent of our producers, we'll ask for a financial statement. It depends on a couple things. It depends on how their credit bureau comes back when we search it. And it also depends on, you know, if they're new to farming, um, if they've had issues with financing in the past, if there's red flags that kind of pop up, then we do ask for a for a financial statement. But for for our organization, uh, we look a lot harder trying to make the loan rather than finding ways of not making the loan. So, uh, and, and farming is, uh, you know, production that livestock production is seasonal, can be seasonal. It can have good years. It can have bad years. And we understand that. So, uh, you know, coming off a bad year, a couple of bad years certainly doesn't preclude you from, from applying to our, our loan programs. So Jay, not to steal your thunder, but I hear you have one of the fastest application processes in all of Canada. So why don't you tell us about that? Well, thanks, Aaron. We're pretty proud of that, to be honest with you. Um, uh, We will do about uh, close to 4,000 loans this spring in the month of April. And and for us, uh, I've been in the agricultural industry my entire life, and we've always heard farmers say, you know, there's too much paperwork and and there is so what we've tried to do is take that paperwork away from the producer so rather than have the producer fill out the application we ask that they simply call us and we have some very qualified and uh, uh, nice folks on the other end of the line for a new application on the phone it takes about 15 to 18 minutes so uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty quick application process when the conversation is done, we email it to the producer to get their signature and to send it back to us. Once we obtain that signed application back, our turnaround time before the loan is actually into the producer's bank account, uh, this year we're averaging 11 days. So uh, we're trying to even speed that up even further, but but uh, we're, we're probably about the quickest in the market. And... Uh, Depending on the time of year, the 11 days is is right now. Uh, certainly, this is our busiest time of year in April and May when when all farmers are requiring lines of credit. But uh, normally, other than probably March, April, May, our turnaround times probably less than four days. So uh, so we're pretty we're pretty pleased with that for a renewal. So if a producer has borrowed from us before. For a renewal, we need about six minutes on the phone, and uh, we can shoot the app, completed application out to them to get back to us. So we're we we think we're we think we're getting pretty good at it, to be honest. With the at the risk of sounding arrogant about that, uh, we think we're getting pretty good about it. And again, it gets money in the producer's hands uh, uh, very quickly. Yeah. So we we try. Well, aside from the the speedy application and turnaround process, which is a huge benefit, maybe you can speak to some of the other key benefits that farmers can expect from choosing ACC's financing programs compared to other options. Sure, Jordan. I think there's we we do things a little bit differently when we grant a loan. The loans we grant are are basically for for producers to you know uh, feed, grow, and market their livestock, and and we don't we expect that's where the funds are going so when we send money to a producer we don't ask what they're going to spend the dollars on we don't ask you know how much is going to feed how much is going to transportation how much, those types of things where some of the financial institutions will be a little bit more picky on that than we are we're basically saying here's money to to grow your sheep raise your sheep and to market your sheep and and you determine how that money's best used so we don't ask for projections or things like that as far as as uh, what may be a, a requirement or how money may be allocated. So for us, that we like that because it does give the producer the freedom to to do with the funds as he chooses uh, in that regard and on his his farm operation or ranch operation. The other thing is, I, like I said, the the benefit is is uh, certainly the speed in which the turnaround time is. And the the ease of of access of the application, um, uh, like I say, we're down to around fifteen minutes on the phone. You're done, 
Uh, you send us your birth certificate and your bank account number, and you're pretty much finished. Uh, send it to us, and, and that's the information. We've tried to narrow it down to get to require the least amount of information we can uh, from the producer so that they're not having to put together file folders full of information to get to us. The other thing we do is we do everything electronic. So the producer, uh, once they complete an application, they get notices throughout their um, the application period, the 12 days, they get notice as to when and where their loan is at in the process. So when it's completed and submitted for credit review, they get an email saying your loan's at credit and being reviewed. And when it leaves credit and goes to be funded, they get an email saying that it's going into the funding area. And then once it's funded, they get an email saying the funds have been transferred to your bank account. So it's a process where you don't have the producers sitting there wondering what's going on at the other end. And and we find that very helpful for the producer, that they, they know somebody's looking at their loan. Uh, um, right now, when we get an application, we're able to look at it immediately. Um, so if it comes in today, we're looking at it today. And uh, so that helps, helps the speed in which we're doing things. I think the other thing is the interest-free money is certainly a, a benefit. Um, back when interest rates were prime was 2% or 1.8%, interest was not a concern for producers and for a lot of people. Now, when you start looking at up to you know 7.2 percent is prime and with the recent banking legislations that were international banking legislations that were approved like basel four um we're going to see interest rates uh, or borrowing rates we may see prime drop but we're going to see borrowing rates remain quite high or we believe it to be that way and uh, uh where people were historically borrowing at prime uh, we will not be surprised to see people borrowing at prime plus one or prime plus two or prime plus three. Um, I to spoke to some people at the OFA meeting back in the fall and, you know, they're paying prime plus five and prime plus six. And, and for those people, we just kind of say, why uh, come and apply to us. Um, the other benefit to our program is for young producers and producers who want to get into the industry. Um, you know, we don't require mom and dad to sign guarantees and all the other things that go along with that, that a normal financial institution might might request. And the other thing is the only thing we take for security is the egg stability and the livestock. We don't we don't touch mortgages. We don't interfere with your you know, pickup truck loans and all the other stuff that the bank may have for security. And if the bank has those things for security today, such as your ag production insurance or your agri stability or your livestock, we deal with the bank to have them release that or to provide us with a, pro a priority agreement. And so it's not up to the farmer to do that. It's up to us to do that. And we have 100% success rate on that. So That's great. So um, you mentioned uh, that you have um, zero interest, right? L parts of the loan. And then yes. you have, yes. um, and then, and then there's sort of different terms for different amounts that you borrow. Can you just run us through that uh, ladder? Sure. sure. So for the, under the advanced payments program, you can borrow up to $1 million. The first up to $250,000 is interest free. And the remaining 750,000 is at prime. Okay. So for the you commodity have... loan, you Sorry. borrow, so you borrow the, um, if you borrow only $250,000, it's interest free or does the interest free. Okay. It's all interest free. The, the first 250,000 so, is interest free. Yeah. And anything up to that. So people, we have producers that'll borrow $20,000 or $30,000 and it's interest free. Uh, anything up to 250,000 is interest free. And the uh, minister of agriculture sets that each year. And uh, um, it has been as high as 500,000 interest free in the past, and it's been as low as 100,000. Excellent. So the last couple of years, this year's at 250. Uh, last year was at 350. The year before was at 250. So so we, we believe it's going to probably stick and hang someplace around that 250 to $350,000 interest free. So, and again, the, the first amount up to 250 this year is, is interest free. Mm -hmm. 
Jaden. So people, sorry. No, sorry. You go ahead. People will also ask what's the, what's the cost of doing all this? There is a cost. We do charge a fee uh, for the application. It's a thousand dollars. Um, if you're borrowing up to $250,000 over 12 month period, you're going to save uh, about twenty six, twenty five thousand dollars $25,000 over that period of time. So we, we do have to, uh, we are a not-for-profit organization. Um, we don't make big dollars or big spreads on, on our loans at all. And uh, like I say, so we do charge $1,000 to cover our cost. Uh, and the cost of registering the security and credit bureaus and, and those types of things, but uh, which is certainly well below what most of the financial institutions are at. Mm -hmm. Jay, does ACC offer any additional support or guidance to sheep farmers to help them make informed decisions about their financing options? We we do a number of things. We we sit down with Aaron, your organization, throughout the year. And 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 one of the questions that we ask is is how can we help your organization? Uh, where we find we can very very useful to an organization is when they require financial data that they may not be able to get from the banks or from the credit unions, uh, which of which we do have a lot of access to. So it's that type of information as well. Certainly, when your organization is speaking with government officials and everything else. Sometimes it's important to have a financial institution in the room um, supporting them and uh, to give that perspective, I guess. So we always try to help our member organizations, of which the Sheep is one of our member organizations. So uh, so if, if Aaron and her group are, are going to the government trying to get various things approved, um, our board and our organization believe it's our, our duty to uh and to support that and in any way we can so from that standpoint i think it's a it's a benefit uh as i said the the sheep producers are a member organization of acc so they do have a vote at our annual meeting and uh do have say in the direction of where our organization goes Amazing. So. thanks jay so what are your future plans you. for acc well, we continue to grow. Uh, we just picked up uh, 48 different products. So today we lend on 4,500 different products across Canada. Uh, we we administer the program in Ontario, Quebec, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia. Um, we're seeing some pretty consistent growth in the last few years. Um, everything from uh, nursery, nursery and landscape or flower products in Alberta to bison so we're we're picking up a number of different products in different vicinities so uh as a result um this year we'll lend well probably well over a billion dollars in the next month or so and uh, uh it's, it's just we're seeing some really good growth it, the interesting thing is our board recently passed a, a motion where um, they said our our organization as a not-for-profit is not here to make money, but to provide the best service available in order to administer and, and get these government loans out to producers. So uh, so we've just spent a lot of time, effort, and money in uh, uh, increasing our staff size, increasing our computer system, improving our computer systems, and... Uh, like I say, we're really hoping to get that turnaround time to about four days over the next 12 months and uh, and continue with the growth spurt that we have because it's good for farmers. There's approximately 30,000 farmers across Canada that use this program. And uh, why, why not let the government pay your interest? Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a simple uh, elevator pitch is why don't you let, you let the government pay the interest on your operating line? That's a great and, question. And uh, they're, they're happy to do it. It's a great program. It's a simple program. It's fast. And uh, for repayment, the producer can call us and say, take a payment out of my bank account. The producer can go on his phone and pay us no different than you pay hydro or your cell phone bill. And uh, they can go on there and do that. Um, so like I say, we've really tried to improve the producer's 
ability to get the loan and their ability to repay the loan and make it as convenient as possible for them. Amazing, Jay. I have, um, I actually have a, a final question, but it's a two-parter. You sure. said the program started 1st of April. If you're a producer yes. and, and, uh, and you're interested after hearing this um, podcast episode, can you still apply? Is part one. You can apply anytime between now and next March. Oh, That's amazing. That's a great so question, you, Aaron. You can apply so, anytime uh, throughout the year then. Yeah, you can apply anytime throughout the year. And uh, uh, when we get to March, what happens is you actually get on the next program year. So, uh, so that's why the, it, it's limited to March of the following year. So, uh, uh, because in 2025 program year will be out April 1st. So, so, uh, but they can apply anytime. All and right. basically all they have to do is, is pick up the phone and call us at uh, our toll free number. And, and someone will take the phone and complete the application at that time if they wish or we'll set up an appointment that's convenient for the producer and uh, phone them back at that time and set up the set up the call. All right. So that leads me into uh, my second part of my question, which is what is the phone number and the email address or uh, website address to find sure. you guys? Very easy. 1-888-278-8807 is our, we'll put you into our call center. And, or you can email us at advance at egg, A-G, credit corp.ca. Amazing. So either, either phone or email us at advance dot egg credit corp.ca. And then, so then your website is egg credit corp.ca. Yes, it is. And if your producers want, they can email me directly at J, J-A-Y-E at egg credit corp.ca. Amazing. Thank you, Jay, for joining us today. Cool. Well, thank you for the opportunity. We really appreciate every opportunity we get to talk to producers and to kind of share the share about the program because we think it's a we think it's a good program. We believe in the program, and uh, we believe it's one of the best ones out there for producers. So, thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you, Jay, and thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us next Wednesday for a part two of this discussion on farm finance programs, where we will interview Mike Shankula with Scotiabank's Yield More Finance Program. Hey, Aaron, what's going on at OSF this week? Ontario Livestock Exchange is holding holiday sales for Kerbani. They're having their regular Tuesday sale days, but they're having an additional special sale on Friday, June 14th at 10 a.m. The barn is receiving Thursday from 4 p.m. till 10 p.m. and Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. They're asking, if at all possible, to please mark and differentiate male and female animals in your lots. If you enjoyed our podcast, please subscribe to your podcast app to receive alerts to future episodes. And please share our podcast with your friends. For more Ontario Sheep Farmers content, follow us on social media at Ontario Sheep Farmers on Instagram and Facebook and at Ontario Sheep on X, formerly Twitter. And visit our website at ontariosheep.org.